here we go. Three versus three. And take a guess. Take a guess of what I'm starting off with. That's right, Gen First. I, I think we're getting near the end of the Gen First content. But we will see. And so Gen First, I am on right side of the map too, which makes it incredibly interesting. But we're going to go ahead and get that gen upgraded right away. And we're probably going to, there it is, the double supply. We're going to be able to grab that power. And we're going to go combat spoils here. We're going to go combat spoils here mainly because we have the opportunity to hit the mini bases on the outside of the map. So I want to see if I'm going to at least be able to do a little bit of work here. A little bit of damage is what I would say. And so with what we have here, I don't even know if we're going to go gen for a fourth building point. I think the play here is to go raid camp. No, we're going to go triple supply first, and then we're going to send a grunt over to the mini base to see if that's been taken by now. And we're going to upgrade both of our supply pads to get that extra supply. So maybe we're going to go with gen for fifth building point, and then go ahead and grab mini base, and then put raid camp in apex. That's going to be my guess here. I think that would be the most optimal play here. Okay. We're going four supply pads. Raid camp definitely would have been better there. But that's what we've done. And so we're going to at least be able to get some resources here. Once we get rid of the marine that's going to be on this side of the map. And so we're going to continue our produ production of marines. Marines. I'm, I'm covey right now. Our production of grunts. And we're going to get as much supply as possible coming in from here. Which is going to be nice. We're going to get the shrapnel mine upgrade as well. But now it's like, right, we're floating all these supplies because we're getting it from Bordis, but what are we doing with it? We're not really doing much with it, so might as well self-destruct the supply pad here. There it is, and get a gen, so I'm glad I am aligned with myself right here. But we do have a lot of supply coming in right now, which is really nice. This is like the beauty of going combat spoils sometimes, so... Supply pad will get taken out. Why move will get popped on the supply pads and then we'll get rid of the rest of that mini base. We will get probably infusion wake. Yep, infusion wake will be bought with that leader point. And we're going to keep the grunt production. So the question is now is we're going to get that second gen upgraded. What are we going to do for our mini base? I'm surprised we haven't built anything on there yet. And here's the mini base being built. But what about, yeah, so we have a harvester there. Where's the apex? Where's there's the apex? Okay, so I just seem to be a little bit behind on what I want to go ahead and do, but we are we are aligned right now. So I do think some opportunity there could be a little bit better. But hey, we got ourselves more supply pads that we just get the focus down, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and just get as much resources as possible. We're bringing in as much grunts. And we are going to start making choppers as well. We're going to pop the Y move to continue to get more supply. Like, look at all the supply that we're getting right now. And with our Hawk groups, we're just going to keep making units. Right now, light blue isn't really showing anything that's going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. We're going to keep the grunt production. Have a random chopper in here. And now we're just going to go ahead and focus down on the base over here. But now light blue has shown up with some Hellbringers. Infusion Wake is going to go ahead and get popped. Spartan is out as well with a great slam. Literally stunned five of my grunts. And this is going to be my cue to start retreating. They do have some mines and some snipers that are showing up here as well. I definitely overstayed my welcome. And because of that, I'm going to lose practically everybody. So we're trying to fall back, but this is a lost cause. And I do think uh, definitely messed up here. Could have had some... I overstayed my welcome, didn't really make runs, didn't have my Apex hot grouped. So definitely a lot of missed opportunities here. And now our army has been reset, so the question is, will Light Blue try to counter off of me? And here comes a second chopper. So we're going to make some more choppers in our army, so then that way we can start dealing with the snipers and the hellbringers that are there. Because we do have grunts with grenades that can at least do some good work there, so... Surprise! I'm not canceling the chopper, so then I can go ahead and get a second base right away. But I guess we're gonna hold off for a little bit. But the good news is, it's like look at the power node control. We have practically four power nodes right now, 
and that's really good to see. And Light Blue is trying to see if they can go ahead and take this, but I do think we have an opportunity here. Well, the Spartan actually saw me, so they're going to go ahead and try and deal with me. And if they choose the Spartan Slam, which I don't think they should, we're going to have an answer to it. Because here comes the Y moves with the grenades. But now all of a sudden, you have yourself the Elite Rangers. But we have reinforcements coming in from the left-hand side. Teleport's going to come in onto my base. So I'm going to have to try and pop an Infusion Wake. But it looks like I'm not going to. We took out the Sniper, which will be very good. But now they're targeting my extractors, which it is a decent play. They're going to get rid of my harvester as well on this side. And they probably will get my extractor at the bottom as well. So they're stripping my base pretty well. Y move is getting popped for the engineer. We're going to try and heal the base. But with what would they got going on? I don't know. A double ODST drop went down, right? by the way. I think by light blue and by red. But... The Harvester is still alive, and we just blew all our supply now, and we're going to start making some air with this army. And these Suicide Grunts, who knows what the heck they're trying to do, so they are going to target our Grunts. But all in all, the damage could have been a lot worse, and we were able to get a Spartan Hero from that, so that's pretty nice to see. And so Banshee production will continue. And this grunt is just going to keep going around and around. So I decide to ram it to go ahead and take it out. Because of the fact that, hey, that must, I've never seen that before. But now we have a great opportunity to get some more resources. And we're almost at tech 3 pr practically. So we're going to spend that power though to go ahead and refix our economy. Because it's kind of in a very dire state. But with these resources that we're getting right now, hey... This is some great resources that we're grabbing. And Red is showing up as well with some grenades to go ahead and take out Light Blue's base on this side of the map. But Orange is still stuck on one base. Orange has not been able to establish a second base. But we were able to self-destruct that, which is great. We have enough to start working on rates. There we go. Tech 3 is now being done 7 minutes in, which is something you also want to see. And so I think what also helped was the fact that I'm going Grunts with Banshees over here because of the fact that I was very supply heavy my power was able to just sit very nicely and so there's still an issue because light green is doing a great job on that left hand side orange is just making sure that they're not losing their army trying to take as good of an engagement the chip as much as possible but i'm still getting a lot of resources here from this mini base and the combat spoils so now the question is what is the next play is the play going to go ahead and be to hit light blue's base or is the play going to go ahead and be and hit green space so i think i'm too far away to go ahead and shift all the way through i think red and orange are going to have to tag team together which means my lane is subject to double teams but we are starting some wraith production and i think we have an opportunity here arbiter committed a lot towards infantry tech and they're staying in infantry tech so I'm going to go ahead and start rotating on my side of the map as well to see if I can go ahead and pressure mid instead. Because if I'm able to do so, that's going to be some good counter damage. But as of right now, I'm still falling back and I'm still shifting over all the way to the left hand side. I hope I'm getting base defenses up. I mean, the good news is I'm going to have rates and that base upgrade is almost done. And we do have a good army coming from orange with a bunch of warhogs. And Red's winning their army, so this is going to be my cue to try and come in and push on this side of the map. We do have the support coming in from Vortis. And if we're able to go ahead and just wipe out what's here, which it does look like it because it's nothing but elite enforcers, this is going to be my cue to go ahead and just start getting even more resources and start working on taking out the second base. This was a great move. Shield Gen is trying to be made in the back. But it does look like we're going to have a response to it. And Orange is just still just trying to hold off to the best of their ability. Or this goo does come down, which is going to go ahead and push their green colony back. And we're going to pop in the Y move to get rid of the shield gen. At this point, we have so much resources and we're at full pop. We need to start going ahead and do something about this. And so Spartan is now showing up, but the damage is already done. We just took that out. And now I'm going to go ahead and start rotating back to my side of the map to see if I can hit Light Blue's base that's happen happening to be established on that side of the map. And so yes, they do have units to go ahead and deal. 
with my current comp, but I've been switching over to Wraith for quite some time now. And three elite enforcers have shown up on my base. And I need to go ahead and stop this right away or at least get heals or something. Engineers are on their way. Will they be able to make it on time? I don't even have fortification. And my rates are out of position for whatever reason. But if the engineers can get there on time, I can save my base. Wraith is starting to do some damage. Will the engineers make it on time? Great stun by the ODST, which is going to allow me to heal the base. They got very close, but unfortunately, they were not able to get it. So... That's something worth seeing. And so, engineers are going to keep on working on the space on the side. And yeah, now we're going to start pushing our right hand side. Remember, I have the better comp than light blue right now because I switched over the raids. We don't really have much upgrades, so that's something that definitely could be a little bit better. We only have vehicle level one. We're finally working on air level one. And now we're going to go ahead and try and pressure this left hand side. And with Infusion Wake ready, and we're getting very close to the Cataclysm point, now it's just a matter of time of when we're going to go ahead and take advantage of the situation where if they try to push, we have enough to go ahead and wipe an army out if we do it correctly. And Orange is luckily able to establish a second base, but still dealing with the Colony as a whole. But... Now with red assisting orange, I think they're going to be in a better position. And so it's going to be up to me to see if I can continue to apply some good damage. Keep taking advantage of this combat spoils to get more stuff around the map. Now here comes orange coming in from behind. I'm going to pop the infusion wake and this is what I'm talking about. And so now my point just came in for cataclysm. Will I pop it? The question is, I will pop it. And so now we're going to use the infusion wake as well. Cataclysm's just doing a great job taking out everything over here. Surprised I don't have the Y move or the rates, but Cataclysm's just doing a magnificent job just taking out a lot of the units, but we did actually lose a lot ourselves as well. And it's not like we're doing amazing with the economy, so we're going to go ahead and at least start falling back, but it did come at a cost, unfortunately. So the fallback will be warranted, but even with what we have, Hunters are being made by Dark Blue, and I ping that to let my teammates know, but I'm still getting resources by those Banshees that are chilling in the back of the map, so. We're in a pretty good spot. Light Blue's in one base. Dark Blue had to reestablish their base, and so I'm going to go ahead and see if Dark Blue has gotten themselves a second base. And Hunters will be a problem down the line, as you can see. They're starting to push me on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and get some anti-infantry turrets, so in case they try to push me, I can go ahead and respond accordingly to it. But it does look like light blue and dark blue is on my side, which means orange and red have an opportunity to go ahead and push their left-hand side and keep reinforcing as good as possible. So then that means once dark blue starts to shift over, I'm going to be able to come in on that right side of the map to finish what is left. And so huge engagement is happening right now. Bunch of Goss Warhogs. Colonies holding pretty well, but it does look like we got rid of one of green spaces on that left hand side and pressure still continuously heading over. And so my play is this, if dark blue is going to go ahead and assist light green, I know my base is fortified enough for me to be able to at least see if I can pressure dark blue. And if I can, then I can try and take out a base real quick if possible. So I'm going to go ahead and start working my way around mainly because I didn't want him to have vision from the power node. And we're going to keep Blizzardbacks in the back just to make sure that if my base does get hit, I'm going to have a good response for it. And there you go. Light Green ends up self-destructing all their bases. Just given the fact that, unfortunately, he just ended up getting a 2v1. And now Dark Blue has self-destructed as well. And so this game is coming to a close. And it was pretty interesting to see because this was the shifting back and forth middle. Longshot played such an excellent game. Just being able to just manage strong side and weak side. And Orange, very importantly, did not sack their whole army. I think that is very important. And the fact that an army always existed meant that Green couldn't come in and finish the deal. Because they were able to stall long enough such that reinforcements were able to come in. And so Ghost of the Machine is being called on my three rates. But this game is practically over. If I had... The Cataclysm, I would be able to pop that and wipe everything that's over there, but I do not. 
but reinforcements is going to come in with their Goss Hogs and Wolverines. Bard Slam does come in, but Sanction Snipers will take big work of that very fast. And so, the rest of the army gets taken care of. All in all, this was a pretty cool game to see. The fact that mid just played an excellent drop going back and forth. And that was also rotating well. Rotating good as well. Just based off the, the needs of the situation, right? Where we were able to take out Dark Blue's base numerous times. Took out Light Blue's base numerous times. So, it was just a great game all around. I won the supply game. Combat spoils was quite fortunate for me. I did lose more units than doing uh, units destroyed, but we were able to get rid of a lot as a whole, a lot of bases, and I feel like that was a very important play. So, yeah, uh, all in all, uh, 65 units built by Arbiter was negative, though. Their Isabel was more positive. Isabel also wasn't putting themselves in a situation where they would lose their whole army in one go, so... All in all, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If not, it is all good. No worries. Hope you enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. And until next time.